Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fadi in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful animated particle background by using Elementor page builder. So instead of using this kind of boring solid color background section you will have this amazing background effect with any of your website section or container. Also if you have a close look this is not a static background effect if I move my cursor like this you see it interacts with my pointer or mouse cursor. You can control these particles colors or density the way you want and I want to show you another thing if you want you can combine it with any solid color background like this and I want to show you another example here you see if you want you can combine it with this type of background images. I will show you how you can achieve it very very easily so without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So right now we are inside Elementor page builder. By the way, you can create this effect by using the traditional column or section. Also, if you want, you can do it by using Elementor flex containers. So here, let's first create a section very fast. I'm clicking on this plus icon and let's select this two container structure. Here, I'm making its height in VH and let's set it to 100 VH. Then I want to give it a solid background color. So from under the style tab, from the background type, I'm selecting the color that's hash 000121. To 1. Now first, let's start with this left container and I'm making its justify content to centered. So all of its inner elements will be vertically centered. Now click on this plus icon. First, I'm dragging a heading widget here and I want it to say um, Jim Fahad. Let's do a bit of styling with it. So first I'm making that text color kind of yellowish color and then I want to make it a bit bigger. So here I'm making the font size to 48 pixel and let's set the weight to 800. Now underneath this heading from here let's add a text editor widget here and I want to make its color to white color like this. And then underneath I want to add a button widget. So from here let's drag the button underneath this paragraph here. And only to sync the design, I'm changing the button's background color to that yellowish color. Also, let's change the text color to black color like this. Then on the right container, I want to add an image. So first of all, let's select this container. And here again, I'm making the justify content to centered. Then within this container, click on this plus icon. And here I'm dragging an image widget. First, let's choose the image. And from here, I'm selecting this image, insert it. First of all, I'm making the alignment to centered and let's do a bit of styling with it. I'm making the width in pixel. Let's make it 350 pixel. Also, I'm making the height to 350. Then here, object fit, I'm making it to cover. And from here, border radius, let's set it in percentage and I'm making it 50%. All right, so we have created a very basic looking banner section. And here to make it really cool, I want to add that particles background effect. So let's open the bar from left. So here, first of all, I want to introduce you to the main particle.js website. So I'm going to particles.js. By the way, I will put this pages link in the description. So basically from this page, you can generate your own particle animation. And here, let me just quickly show you all these options. Like here, we can see these particles. This is basically the default particle animation. And here from the type, this is the default particle. But if you want, you can see the other particle designs. Like here, I'm selecting NASA. We can see here different type of particles. Also here are there more options. Like if I select the snow, we can see here the snow particles effect here. Okay, now I want to go back to the default one. And here you have got so many customization options. So first here open the particles option from here. If you want, you can change the number, the color, the shape, the size, you can name it. Now first open the number option here. If you want, you can increase the value. So if I increase the value from here, we can see more particles here under the background. And then if you want, you can also play with the density from here. So if you want to increase any number, you just need to drag this bar to the right side like this. But you know what? I just want to keep the default density value like this. Okay, just keep it like this. And now if I open the color option, the default particle color is white. And I also want to keep the white color because if we just go to our Elementor page builder, 
you see our hero banner's background color is kind of dark so if we make the particles color to white it will more pop up on our banner and then next let's open the shapes from here if you want you can change the stroke the polygon and then here's the image option i just want to show you it very quickly like here if you want you can push any of your images and for sure you just need to upload that image on your wordpress website and you just need to put that images url here so instead of these circles your images will be repeated within this particles background and you see you can also determine the width and height of that image also from the type instead of these circles if you want you can select any other options like the triangles now have a look all these little dots are now triangles instead of those circles but personally i like the circles so here i'm selecting to circle then if you want you can play with its sizes so i'm opening the size here is the default value of the size is three but let's see if you want to increase the size you just need to drag it to the right side you see the circles are becoming more bigger but i just want to keep it to three so here let's drag it to the three so you see there are lots more customization option if you want you can play with all of them and you can use the one that is best suitable for you but here i want to show you another important settings like this one here is scroll down and open this option it says interactivity so here i'm opening the interactivity and here this one is very important you need to select this detect on instead of canvas i'm selecting window so that's basically it i'm happy with this particular background now i wanna use it on our website so now all these adjustment i mean all these settings we have done here to get that we need to click here at the top you see it says code pen so i'm clicking here it basically generates a custom javascript snippet for you and the javascript snippet is here on the right side but before applying this javascript snippet we need to add a html code inside of our elementor page builder so let's go back inside elementor page builder and here within this page i wanna add the html widget just click on this rubik's cube icon and here i'm searching for html and you know you can put this html widget anywhere of the page but i wanna keep it as this section or this container is specific for that reason i'm just dragging this html widget underneath this button here and you know this html code won't be shown on the real website we can see it only within the elementor page builder now here within this html field i need to add some snippet and to get the snippet you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description from that page if you scroll down a bit here you can see it says particle snippet just copy this whole snippet from this place now go inside elementor and paste that code snippet here now within this snippet you don't need to modify anything just have a look here underneath it says js code here actually here we just need to paste the javascript snippet that we have created on code pen so let's go back to the code pen code and here we don't need html or css codes we just need this javascript snippet just click within this javascript then if you are on pc to select all this together you can press ctrl a and if you are using mac you can just press command a then press command c to copy this whole code snippet now go inside elementor page builder now here right after this js code here i'm hitting enter to create some space and here i'm pasting the whole javascript snippet we have just copied from the code pen now here we just need to do one last thing here if you have a look within this code snippet that we have just copied from code pen just have a look at the very first line here within this first quotation this is basically the css id name we need to copy the id name from here so i'm copying this name it says particles dash js so just copy it then select the main container or section now go under its advanced tab and here within the css id paste that name that's particles dash js probably you cannot see the animation immediately but if we now click on this update button to save our work then click on this eyeball icon to preview it 
and here we go we can see the beautiful particle effect here on the background and you see this is interactive with our cursor it's looking really really nice all right now i want to show you another example so let's go inside elementor page builder here you see we have added the particle effect with this solid color background now i want to show you another example where we will have the image background so i just want to quickly create another container click on this plus icon this time i'm selecting this column based container again i'm making its height to 100 vh and i'm making the justify content centered and you know this time instead of any solid color image i want to use a background image so go under the style tab from here open the background type let's select an image i'm selecting this image click on insert media now i just want to adjust its position to center center attachment to scroll repeat to no repeat size i'm making it to cover now to make this area really quick we can just copy and paste some areas from this top area so i'm right clicking on this image just copy it and i'm pasting it here within this container but i just want to make it smaller so go under style tab here i'm making it width to 150 also height 150 pixel then underneath that i want to add the same heading so from here just copy this heading and here i'm pasting the heading here but in this time i'm making the alignment to centered and right after that let's copy this paragraph from here let's paste it underneath here in this place but I just want to add some space at the left and right. So go under advanced tab and link the padding. I'm setting the padding in percentage. On the left and right, I'm adding 20% of padding. And underneath that, I want to just copy and paste the button widget from here. So let's just copy it from here. And I'm pasting it here underneath. Okay, I'm making the alignment to centered. So similar like that, I also want to add the HTML widget after this button widget here. So click on this Rubik's Cube icon and here I'm searching for HTML. Let's drag the HTML underneath this button here. And you know, first of all, I just want to go to Jim Fahad Digital. Let's just copy this particle snippet from here again. Go inside Elementor Page Builder and paste that snippet within this HTML field and now you know we need to paste the javascript snippet within this place but this time i wanna use a different particle animation so to do it i'm um, again going back to the particles js website actually i just don't wanna use this same particle design so let's first refresh the page and here instead of the default one let's select the snow particles and here again like the other particle if you want you can adjust the particles number color all the settings from here but for now i'm keeping it default and to generate its javascript code just click on this code pen icon from the top right corner and here on the right side you have got the javascript snippet again to select it all i'm pressing command a then command c to copy it now go inside element of page builder then underneath this command line it says js code here just hit enter to make some space and here i'm pasting the new particles javascript code snippet here and now here we need to do some adjustments if you remember we have used this id name it says particles dash js on the above section so we cannot use the same id name more than one time in a single page for that reason from here we can change this id name to any other name so instead of particles dash js i'm writing here particles dash js dash 2 now this time just copy this id name from here i have written particles dash js dash 2 let's now select this container from here go under its advanced tab and here within the css id field i'm pasting the id name that's particles dash js dash 2 all right now to save our work just click on this green update button then click on this eyeball icon to preview the page so here with the first section or first container we can see the particles that we have created first and you see it's working and interacting perfectly now if we scroll down we can see here the second container we have created and here we can see the second particle effect we have created by using the next javascript snippet 
it's really easy like this. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.